Yeah, good evening, YouTube. So this is the core portion of my home media system. I use the DVB Logic TV server. So this is the software that I use to capture and manage the over-the-air TV signals that I get with my TV antenna. And I have one network tuner and one PC card tuner, a PCI card, and so this comes from dvblogic.com. They're located in Europe. I just installed or updated to the version 5.5.0 version of the server and then the TV source program. So what you have is the server sits on your main media server machine and then you add one or a number of TV signal sources. So there's a TV source which includes the ATSC and also cable TV which is the ClearQualm. Uh, they have various add-ons. Got a number of these TV advisors. Netherlands, Great Britain, Denmark, Germany, Austria, lots of places, nothing for the U.S., of course. And then they have these EPG, or Electronic Program Guide Loaders. Again, nothing for the U.S. I've just downloaded the latest version. You run the update program. Uh, you update the TV source. And then the way you go through this, I'll just go through real quick, is you go to your sources. So this is your signal and also program guide sources. So you have your TV sources. So these are dual tuner PCI cards. It handles both ATSC and QAM, which is your cable tuner. And then I also have a dual tuner HD home run. So I have TV source 1, 2, 3, and 4. Those are my four digital TV sources. And since they're all working off the same antenna, I make this first one the master. And then all the others just follow the same settings. The way you uh, do that, you click on the little wrench icon. And what I did was I made a custom channel list. I basically just have a list of only the RF channels that are present in my area and so here's the uh, channel scanning so you go through here and you can see it's picked up the channels you can see how quick it goes because I'm having it skip all the ones that don't exist like 15, 16, 17, and 18 I don't bother looking at because they don't exist Fifty, fifty-one, and you can see it's done. I've scanned all the possible channels. So you say OK there. There's this Manage Channels, which you can go in and, for instance, I usually find, yeah, like this one. This is a radio channel, and I can't receive that. So I always delete that one because it just clutters up my channel list. And so you just say OK there. And then you can go in, here's the advanced settings. Usually you don't have to do anything here, but uh, you can go through and one of the built-in things is you can scan what's called the EIT data, which is basically the on-air program guide data that some broadcasters broadcast on their signals. I won't do the scan here because it actually takes quite a while. So we'll uh, just skip that. And we'll say save. So it saved all the, the channels that I just scanned. And it'll come back here. The two other forms of program guide or EPG, that's your electronic program guide that are built in. One is this MC or Media Center guide services. So you just activate that particular source. And what that does is it pulls the TV guide data out of Windows Media Center. So you can use that plus the over-the-air program guide. And then I do one other one, which is the XML TV input. You just tell it what folder to go look at for XML TV files. And you can get those from 
a number of sources. I happen to get mine from Schedules Direct, which is a subscription service. It costs about $25 a year, and you can get really detailed program guide data and the the benefit uh, I'll show you a little bit later here so that's basically your sources you have your TV sources and your program guide sources those are two different things 